from errands. I always hear crows around my house. Crows are not strangers to these to this neighborhood, whatever, right? I was at a stop sign and sat there longer than usual because there were two crows just chilling on the street and i've never seen one so close and also not be afraid of oncoming traffic <laughs> and i just stood there not knowing what to do i just started driving and one crow understandably flew away and then the other crow was just sitting there chilling as if like a car wasn't coming towards it so i was just like slowly creeping up i mean obviously not up to it but like slowly moving my car trying to avoid it while my guy was just taking his time <laughs> <laughs> walking across the street i'm just like i don't know not an interesting story but i thought it was pretty weird i anyways okay so now i'm gonna use my mic for this section just because i had to share that story real quick but anyways as you can see i am dressed in my regular uniform of a comfortable black onesie jumpsuit situation <laughs> i am still dealing with with my depressive episode that i'm going through right now but i am actually able to function outside of my room so i ran some errands i finally picked up my prescriptions that have been ready for a while i hadn't been picking them up because i still had some left and also because depression right but today i woke up and decided to force myself to pick them up because i actually needed them i had therapy yesterday so forcing myself i guess is a strong term i have the energy today to do some things so i could later wallow in my depression if that makes sense. And as I was stepping out of the house, I was beautifully greeted with the best package ever. My merch from Allison Pages finally came in. I'm so excited. I mean, according to the email, it's not everything that I ordered, but it is the bulk of it. The beautiful embroidery, embroidery sweaters shipped later. So this is the other stuff that I'm order that I ordered, and I'm gonna unpackage it in front of the camera. For reference, everything I got is a size large. I think extra large. I'll obviously double check once I have the items. And they are also Europe sizing. So hopefully, hopefully they're good size. Even though technically after my weight loss, I am now a small medium. I still like to buy things to fit overflowing. So that's why I went with a large or maybe even an extra large for context. <laughs> So I did go with the extra large, but this is the No Rush Crew Neck sweater. And I, I'm just so in love. I'm just, there you go, this is it. So this is it. You know, it's long enough for like a tucking moment. I got hot, so I had to take it off, but it is so comfortable and I cannot wait to wear it outside. <laughs> so hi, hello, my name is Laura, if you're new here. And, <laughs> and my channel is about me trying to get back to my hobbies and the things that I used to love before I had to drop them because of ADHD burnout and specifically reading. <laughs> so as I mentioned in my last vlog that should be up already, I am dealing with a bit of a big sad episode. <laughs> last week I didn't work on my thesis whatsoever. I got feedback back from the big boy draft that I needed to turn in a couple vlogs ago and now as I mentioned in those vlogs it's all it's basically all editing at this point. Read the feedback, adjust, and so on and so forth. So I I haven't touched it at all because I just didn't have the energy. The executive was very dysfunctioning, very very dysfunctional at this at the moment. Today is Wednesday and I finally told myself 
to try to do some things today. As I mentioned earlier, I finally got the energy to go get my prescriptions and pick up some groceries that I really needed to get. And now I'm also going to continue the self-care trend that I started last vlog and do something about my nails <laughs> so that once I'm done with my nails I can either work on my thesis as again or do some admin work that I really need to do about my personal life you know and yeah as a reading update I have not finished the turn of the screw I actually have not been able to pick it back up again since I stopped reading it in my last vlog. I am going to give myself another goal for this specific video to hold myself accountable to not only finish the turn of the screw but also start and finish White Star Gas OC and to also finish Weathering Heights. <laughs> Is it a little bit ambitious? probably but what we don't do in, in this channel is punish ourselves for things that we can't control hence the mess that you might see <laughs> if you've seen any of my other vlogs you'll see that these are new additions to my walls i don't really vlog my exercises i guess a lot i do have some clips of me making some art but i don't really vlog a lot of it just because i'm still working on my craft still feeling comfortable sharing but these are a couple of like new additions that i've done as also self-care and today i might make another one i might make another painting today if i have time again i'm not going to force myself if i end up just either reading for the rest of the day or rotting my brain with youtube that is okay Happy Thursday. <laughs> I wanted to keep recording Wednesday. I think the last clip I got was me prepping my nails to paint them. And I, I couldn't find the plug to my UV lamp. So after I think a whole hour of just like destroying my room basically which is this is kind of the aftermath of that it was a lot worse <laughs> or earlier i just i found my regular nail polish top coat base coat and one color thank god it was black <laughs> and just decided to paint my nails with regular nail polish right i couldn't do gel like i wanted to but that's okay and yesterday after i did my nails I did some admin work and then I decided to paint and I freaking hate what I was doing. I kept telling myself, trust the process, trust the process. And I don't, honestly, on, honestly, I don't even know if it's like a me thing, if it's like an amateur, I still need to learn or anything or everything like that, like color theory. I thought I was okay with color theory, but not anymore. Or if it's my paints. And the quality isn't bad, it's just that the colors are so weird. Like the green, for example. This is my acrylic paint, but I think I do have the same issue with my gouache. But the green, for example, I if I want to make it, it like a pale green, it comes out this ugly ass, almost bluish 
<laughs> green and I'm just like it, it's weird it's weird it's weird it's weird I knew I should have just gotten the primary colors so that way I could just mix my own colors because that was what was tripping me up because even the orange that it gives me in this set just wasn't working for me so I try <laughs> this is the m the monstrosity that I was making I tried fixing it as much as I could I even messed up the drawing underneath I uh, started using mixed media so I try to fix it with colored pencils and in the end <laughs> I'm not throwing it away I might use it for a journal in the future but in the end I ended up writing one of my favorite quotes from a youtuber as well who's an actual artist <laughs> and she said in one of her vlogs it's okay to show people you are practicing so that is a that, that's why I don't want to throw this away because I need to show myself that it's okay that I'm practicing but I mean this this is a mess this is a freaking mess and then to top it all off I had to call my night off so early because I got one of the worst migraines I've ever had and I was getting so nauseous so I literally just threw everything in my floor <laughs> turned off my lights and went to bed my desk was still a mess this morning from the painting that I did and everything like that and I just <sighs> Wednesday was just a dud <laughs> and so yeah anyways happy Thursday today I've already ate in my breakfast I've already had my first coffee and surprisingly I have some energy to work on my thesis these are notes. <laughs> my thesis director gave me notes on some things that I should work on for my draft that I turned in. And I'm basically going to rewrite my to-do list just so it makes more sense. That also flows better with this weird executive function issues that I've been dealing with because of my episode <laughs> that I'm going with. And yeah, that is basically what's been going on on with me for a minute. I did make some more progress on the turn of the screw but again because of that migraine I couldn't do anything else afterwards so I'm hoping to pick it up today. <laughs> I'm literally like 20 pages away from reading it. I am stressed but hopefully I could pick it up today and actually finish it. It's only Thursday and I do end my vlogs on Monday so I think I could at least finish White's Sargasso Sea by Monday because of the fact that I'm almost done with turn of the screw and I'm not and I'm not really working on my thesis so let's see how this goes <laughs> my mic with me but I did want to give a quick reading update since I'm in the middle of reading but I'm currently reading You Made a Fool Out of Death with Your Beauty by Awaki Amezi and this book is a second chance book for me with this specific author because I am so in love with their novel Freshwater and 
it's actually it's sitting in my favorite shelf because that's just how much I love it. And I read the death of Vivek OG and I not only DNF'd it but I unhauled it because that that wasn't that wasn't that wasn't gonna be a soft DNF like I've been doing with other books. Like I just did not like that book whatsoever. And it made me feel horrible because after reading Freshwater I was so excited. So when I found when I found that she wrote this novel, which is her first attempt at like adult romance, I decided to give them a second chance and I and I hit the 100 page mark this morning <laughs> and I am so in love. I am so happy that I decided to pick this up. I'm so happy that I decided to give them a second chance and I can't wait to finish it because it's already very messy and very entertaining and I am just so excited that I didn't give up on this author. Yeah, I just wanted to give a quick, a quick update before I just completely finish it because I would love to give my thoughts. My goal is to try to give thoughts in between my readings, but I, you know, I get so cut up. I get so hyper focused that I forget to pick up my phone, right? But I remembered. So 100 pages in and I'm loving it. Hopefully it doesn't change after that. <laughs> So happy Monday! Today is the start of a new week, but the end of this vlog. So I wanted to give you guys a reading update. I... I finished reading You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty by Akaweki Amezi. I've been pronouncing their name wrong this whole time, but this, this book, guys, this book is so beautiful. <laughs> it talks about grief. It talks about loving again and it's very down to earth. It's so beautiful, <laughs> basically. Yeah, okay, so pretty sure I mentioned it earlier in this vlog. I'm giving this author a second chance because I loved their first book, Freshwater. I hated their second book, <laughs> so I wanted to give them a second chance. And so when I saw this in Barnes and Noble, I was like, I have to pick it up. I just have to. And I'm so glad I did. I am so so glad I picked it up and that I read it. I I don't know if I'm going to put this in my favorite shelf or not just because I don't like I am so in love with it but like I mm. No, yeah, ah, mm, yeah, no, it, it's, it's going on my favorite shelf. I mean, I love all my books, obviously. That's why I don't unhaul them or anything. If I've read them and I like them, they're staying. However, you know, my favorite shelf are just those specific special ones that, that do something to me, right? And this one did something to me. <laughs> If I would have been a little more sad, then I think I would have completely bawled in certain spots because there were a lot of teary eye moments that just had me, that just had me, you know? <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm glad that I'm ending this vlog on a high note, I guess and I'm glad that I gave a second chance. So Akawaki Omezi have actually done dabbled in different genres. So they do have a poetry collection that I want to check out and they have two young adult books that I think I'm willing to check out now that I've read this specific novel. And I know I said, <laughs> I know I said that I didn't want to give the death of Vivek Oji a second chance because I was just so bored with it, but maybe it was a wrong time, wrong setting, wrong mindset type of situation that I might be changing my mind. So if anything, if I were to find a used copy or something like that, or maybe even get it from my library book, from my library, I might consider reading it. I might because everybody's so in love with that one, right? I don't know why I sound so petty. <laughs> Anyways, as for the big sad, I'm feeling a lot better. I have really dedicated to my self-care to the point where I am naturally motivated now to actually work on my thesis so that means that I am I am feeling a lot better could it be a seasonal depression type situation probably I mean there hasn't really been a lot of sun lately but at the same time just like so many other factors have been leading I've been like 
me to this point you know so luckily i feel like i am in a healthy way bouncing back up to be able to handle all the work that is due by the 8th of december so oh and lastly my pomegranate painting is now officially my favorite one that i've done so far and i don't think i showed it in video but i actually uh worked a little bit more on it with colored pencils i don't know what's with me in wanting to do multimedia mixed media situations when it comes to gouache but <laughs> i i mean i love the additions to it i think it looks really nice and i think i'm gonna i think i want to make that painting bigger because i love it so much i hope it's not like a one hit wonder type situation with all the like all the other ones but yeah if you made it this far thank you so much for checking out this video if you liked it please hit the like button and maybe possibly consider subscribing and if if this is where we part, then I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning, day, and, or evening. <laughs> and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.